Here I have a Eton 5E UPS as well as the new batteries to go in it. They are 12 volt, 7 amp. The dimensions are 150 by 95 by roughly 65 um, Century brand, got them from Bunnings very cheap for that asset, I think they were about 30, $34 um, these UPS's I got for free because they came broken, power switches are gone um, they're actually never used Eton apparently just shipped the persons in question brand new unit and didn't take the old one back um, there are four holes on top for a Phillips head a yeah, super long one alright now all those screws are out from memory got one of these things lifts off there we go, all the cabling as well, so best practice is not to touch anything in there because even though it's off and not plugged in, hasn't been plugged in probably months if not years, um, there's still things in here that could hold power, like these big caps. Uh, unlikely, but I wouldn't want to test it. Very, there's not much on that board, I have to say. Uh, I'm going to remove this cage. It just comes out. Uh, I presume the UPS was meant to come with some sort of joining part for batteries, um, but obviously mine's been lost before it made its way to me. Uh, from memory, the batteries actually go sideways in this unit on the top of each other and then this cat will hold them in but first use my connector to connect them in between then I believe because there's a strange channel here when that one's open the connector should probably go in this top part so I'm going to put my red one because I won't have access to that later and then Gently slide this in without dropping anything. Cool. So what I'm going to do now is install the shield back on top. Which will keep... So that's all on there. I'll chop this and stand the UPS back up. Now at this stage when I put this negative on that terminal there, there's going to be a big spark. And for all intents and purposes we'll treat this as live, as it would have power running through it at that stage. So I'm going to loosely put this on the spot. Theory, I'm going to bring these two together. Get a nice big spark. And then leave it. Anything in that top part I would leave as live. Um, but you will need to just make sure cables are nice and out of the way before putting the lid back on. So in theory I've actually got a replace this button as well um, but you'd be able to put the screws back in the bottom and then let the UPS unit charge so I've just gone and installed my new button on the side there um, before you screw it up make sure nothing's pinching make sure the power connector in the back is still in its slot as it can come out and put this back on its side and then with my super long screwdriver Hole. If you can, if you turn the screwdriver backwards, you might get a click. 
and then you can screw in the whole way. And that will prevent you from stripping out the threads that have already been made. And I'm going to screw the opposite direction. You hear the click? And I'll screw it the correct way to screw the screw in. So I hear the click, screw the correct way. And in theory, that's our unit back together. If I press the power button and the batteries have got power in them, it should power up. And again, it will power down when I remove the power. The power switch is probably going to look like the one it came with and not my one that I've replaced. Um, so now you have to place the unit on for charge. And your appliances can go on the back.